Monitoring what you allow or do not allow in your life can have a significant impact on the environment and the environment surrounding you. My name is Krista Mosley, and I would like to inform you today on how to better control your own personal environment. I'm not here to suggest that you try and control the people around you necessarily, but I would like to offer some insight on how you can control yourself and better the environment surrounding you. So let's clarify what my intentions are here today. I want to inform you that there are ways or little things that you can do on a daily basis that can help change or influence your surrounding environment. And I want you to be able to understand that you are in control of yourself and the things that you allow in or out of your life. More specifically, I want you to understand that these things that we allow in our lives can have major impact on us and on our personal environment. Um, when I'm speaking about the word environment, I don't necessarily mean the world as a whole environment. I mean you as a person, your environment. So with all of that said, my purpose is to hopefully open your eyes to what is going on around you so that you can have a better sense of how to deal with it. Now I'm going to use some fairly simple examples, as it may seem, to allow you to understand how certain decisions that we make can impact our personal environment. Um, the first thing that I want to talk to you about are the types of people that we allow in our lives. This may seem like an obvious thing to talk about. My goal here is to help you become aware of the shift as it is happening, not when it has already happened and then you're stuck with the consequences. So when people um, that we allow in our lives tend to gossip, we generally end up gossiping. Um, when we allow people in our life who tend to eat junk food all the time and don't watch what they eat, we can possibly gain weight from hanging out with them because you eat what your friends eat generally and that could create an unhealthy lifestyle. Um, it's not in your nature to curse or swear or cuss, whatever you may call it, um, while you're speaking and you run into somebody that you've become close friends with who does this on a frequent basis. Um, you could possibly start cursing with them. So I'm not saying that these things are definite. I'm not saying that everybody is influenced by the people around them, but as human beings, the majority of us are. So I'm going to use another example. Um, our profession can have a lot of influence on us as well, and I'm going to use my job as an example. I work with all women, and women tend to have a lot of opinions. Now, whether they are meaning for them to turn into gossip or if they are just wanting to vent, it varies. Um, when I was in high school, I got into a lot of trouble for gossiping, and I'm pleased to say that I learned my lesson. So at my workplace, I have found that I am the person who everyone tends to come to and share all of their unhappy thoughts with. Um, I know that it is in my best interest not to chime in. If I do, the environment around me completely changes, and I can find myself in a whirlwind of trouble. Um, because I played their gossip game, so I just listen. Uh, I've learned to become the best listener and just nod my head and let them talk. Um, by now, I've learned that by not allowing myself to get caught up in the mess of things, I am making sure that the environment that I carry myself is a safe place. Um, it's a positive place in the midst of negativity, and this is what works for me. As human beings, we can be persuaded, like I mentioned previously. Um, we can get caught up in the things before you know it and end up somewhere that we don't want to be, whether it be a physical location or it could be just a mindset. Um, but in order to become more aware of these things, I feel it is super important that we first figure out who we are. Um, there are a multitude of personality tests online, temperament tests, all, all kinds of things that you can just search keywords, free personality tests. And I strongly suggest that if you are not comfortable with who you are yourself, that you look into taking some of these tests. Um, ask around and see if some of your family members are willing to write down a couple positive traits that they see in you, and then better focus on those and how to establish those rather than falling into the negativity of things. Um, regardless, once you know who you are, it is much, much easier to control your own environment. And what I see controlling your environment looking like is being able to cope in certain situations. Make quick decisions based on your own judgment. Be aware of your surroundings. Stand firm in what you believe without demeaning others. And understand consequences. Um, staying focused on what is best for you is key. Being true to yourself and knowing your boundaries is huge. Um, this will certainly help in what you allow in your life and how much of an effect it may have on you. Knowing 
what types of things and what types of people that you allow in your life will help you succeed as a person, and that's what you should be looking for. Um, I hope that you were able to get something out of this today, and now I hope you have a better a sense of how to control your own personal environment and stay positive in doing so. Thank you.